Hi, this is Dan from Magic Pachinko Restorations, and this is your first look at your newly restored pachinko machine. This is a Nisogen Model A recycler. Uh, when I did the, the uh, restoration on it, everything that you can see, both on the front and the back of the machine, gets completely stripped off. Um, sent you pictures that showed all of that. Everything gets cleaned, polished, put back on. Your play field was uh, pretty well shot to the point where you could barely see the colors. Now you've got the nice colors that were originally on the machine. The nails are all shiny. Everything is clean. I put the blue crown symbols in here and we talked about using the blue spinners rather than the original brown ones that were on the machine. So that's a good look at the front. <clears throat> uh, I don't know if you can see, well, it's, it's even hard to see from here, but um, that's not funky like you thought it was. That was that's a, a real nice silver. It's uh, uh, not the reflection or the uh, the glare. So <clears throat> when you get the machine, well, I put stabilization feet on here, and I'm pretty sure I can ship it that way. But if I can't, I'll take them off. They're just held in place by screws. I'll pack them along and and give you the screws. You just have to line the holes back up and put the screws back in. So that keeps the machine from, from tipping over. If, if you don't have those feet, they're pretty tippy. So when you get the machine, you're going to want to turn it around to the back side. And I found that the lights weren't coming on real bright with a 9-volt battery, which is really all you need. Um, so what I, what I gave you was a 9-volt uh, power supply. And I left... The original 9 volt battery set up here so that if you did want to use it you can but this is a, a plug-in so the first thing you're going to do is is plug it in this way and when you plug it in you notice this light up here in the corner will go on this one right here it's controlled by a switch right here it'll go on and off and what that is telling you is that there's no pachinko balls in the machine um, or not enough in the upper hopper for the machine to be functional so if you see the light in the upper corner come on um, it's red on the other side up um, you'll know that that's what that means so that light will come on the other thing you want to check is right here you want to make sure that this is up in the shut position versus being down in the open position. You want that shut so that the balls stay in the pachinko machine. Uh, this is a way of getting all the balls out of the pachinko machine, but make sure that's shut because if, you, if it's not shut you pour balls in, they just run out the bottom of the machine and makes a, makes a lot of noise and a mess. So I've included enough pachinko balls here to, to make your machine fully functional. Uh, you can certainly buy some more if you want, but, but this would be enough. So you're going to just dump them in the top tray. This gets pretty noisy, so I'm not going to try to talk. And you, want to, you want to put most of the pachinko balls that you have in this upper tray. So they fill this upper tray, they go down into this chute, and the weight pushes down on this, lifts off of this switch, so the light's not on. So when, when it starts to run out of balls, this, this again will push down, the light will come on and, and let you know that you need to put more balls in. With a recycler, that doesn't happen very often because the, mach the machine never spits the balls out. It keeps playing them. So this is full, this is full, and the balls stop right here by design after they've filled this, the, uh, the center tray up. These counterweights dictate whether or not it lets more balls down in. So while you're playing, every once in a while you may hear this noise. And what that means is that you're starting to run out of balls in this tray. It's going to automatically let some from this tray drop down. So don't let that alarm you if you hear that noise. That's what it's supposed to be doing. The other thing that you want to check is there's a switch here for the jackpot light. So when you do make a jackpot, this light will come on. And right below it, there's a little little arm that pushes against it. This is called the seesaw chamber. A ball is going to drop into this white, this clear plastic area, travel along the bottom. It goes into the seesaw. The seesaw tips 
to let the ball continue down through the machine and while it's in this position it momentarily lights the light and then it will reset. So before you start to play you want to make sure that this is tipped back to the left and that the light's not on. So this is the ready position. So right now the machine is completely ready to play. So we'll turn it back around to the front. Okay, and you're going to put some more balls in the upper supply tray. Now if you look in here you'll see a double row of pachinko balls. Those are the balls that you will win when you do win. That, that, that unit will tip and let the balls come out this, this hole in the, the upper tray. The winning ball will drop down and come out into the bottom tray. Okay, So, when you first put pachinko balls into the uh, up middle tray and launch, it will not launch a ball because it takes one cycle to get a ball inside. So this won't launch a ball, but the next time I do it, it will. So you're going to, I rest my fingers under here, and then I just pull down with my thumb and let it flip off my thumb to launch a ball. And you can do this as quickly, there we go. So there's your jackpot light up. The prize of 14 balls came out up here, and the one winning ball dropped down here into the lower tray. So let's try this again. Yep. Now when, when it goes in this center one, it will open one or the other of these. And uh, I believe it opens this one. If it goes in the top, it drops through and will open this one or drops through and, and pops into this one depending on the way that this is set. So you can play this one ball at a time, which is the way I like to play it, and watch it. Hear that noise? That's more balls going down in because you're starting to win. Or you can just launch these as, as fast as you want. And get a whole bunch of balls in there. One went in. Now I've, I've set the nails. They shouldn't hang up anywhere. Uh, every once in a while maybe a ball will hang up and all you have to do is, is tap. Uh, this is plexiglass. It's a new piece of plexiglass. Uh, I will ship the machine with plexiglass. You may prefer to replace it with a piece of glass. Um, if so, just take the piece of plexiglass to your local hardware store and ask them to cut a piece of window glass that same size. The window <clears throat> glass doesn't flex so it's going to hold better against the pins and so on, so you won't get any balls hanging up. It'll also make a different sound. It makes a, a much louder sound when the balls hit it. It's a more clacky noise where the, the plexiglass is pretty soft and forgiving, so it doesn't make a lot of noise when the balls actually hit the plexiglass. So um, if you get too many balls here, you just push. These balls drop down, and then it's pretty easy just to grab a handful, go right up over the top, and drop into the supply hopper that's on the top of the, or on the back side of the machine. Right there. And then you just keep playing. So that's it. If you have any questions on, on uh, how to set the machine up, or if you just want to talk about pachinkos or whatever, you've got my number, you have my phone number, you have my, my email, my text. I am always available for you at any point in time. I want you to be thoroughly happy with this. So uh, we'll be getting ready and ship this thing out first thing tomorrow morning. And um, enjoy. Thank you very much.